morning, Singapore, and welcome to the big show. It is a Tuesday morning yet again. Last week she was in Haraguka, <laughs> and this week she is in Okinawa. She was in Kagoshima. 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 That's right. Dr. Geraldine Tan from the therapy room. Good morning. <laughs> morning. Good morning, Jay. Yes, and I, I wanted to have a fact check uh, for last week. So I said Sakurajima was that, that volcano. It is not the volcano. It oh. is a place. Okay. And there are two volcanoes uh, on in that space. Oh, so wow. I just wanted to correct myself. Yes. Oh, no yeah. worries. Volcan- mm. Because that volcano, the, the volcano yeah. we saw is on an island, right? Yes. So yes. there are two volcanoes. That space, that place is yeah. called Sakurajima. Oh, yes. right. Okay. I yeah, see. Right. Yeah. No yeah. problem. You only look Japanese. You are not Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> you are Singaporean. So everyone has to I forgive am. you. I it was am. your first time in ha- Kagoshima. Kagoshima, right? Kagoshima, yes. Just remember it cargo is, pants, you'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I remember it. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, Jerry. So I'm, today you are yes. coming to us from uh, Okinawa. Okinawa, Okinawa. Yes, and it is it is actually quite warm here. So it's about like 24, 25 degrees, but it's quite rainy. So uh-huh. yeah. Yesterday was a little bit rainy, the day before so was a little bit rainy. I don't know about today. It's supposed I mean, I've, to be sunny. I've, I've never been to Okinawa. What do you do in Okinawa? <laughs> So there, there are beach resorts. Um, I'm at Kokosai Dori, which is the shopping street. Uh, mm. I just came from the beach resort. Uh, the beaches, no, the waters are beautiful. So they are blue. Mm. So the color here, uh, everywhere you see is a little bit blue. So mm. the, the color of the sea. Oh, so wow. they, the colors, they are very, very nice. Um, yeah, but today we're talking about Okinawa because I was curious about the blue zone because everybody was talking about the blue zone. Yeah. So I came here to find out a little bit more. Um, I was actually quite disappointed, sadly. <laughs> Why? I mean, there should be many <laughs> old people there, right? In Okinawa. That's okay. That's what everybody thinks, right? And that's why everybody says, "Oh, take a photo with them." Yeah. And I'm like, uh, already, I was thinking they're not going to be walking on the streets, right? So they're probably, you know, somewhere further away from yes. the city area. Mm. Mm. Uh, but they are not walking around for us to take photos with them, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> they're not display items <laughs> um and I, I the the village uh so one of the villages uh, is is called ogimi village uh it's it's pretty far out uh two hours away about one and a half hours away from the city area okay uh, and it's a different lifestyle there so when you go into that space it is a very very different lifestyle uh, <laughs> Yes, but but yes, they are not walking around for us to take photos. Oh, I see. Thing. Okay, I, an hour and a half. That's a, that's a long to drive. get to that area yeah. to see a few old people. <laughs> no, no, like, no, that's why you are disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. Let, let's continue to to have this conversation on the Big Show TV. Up next, Taylor Swift. Here's "I Can See You" on Kiss ninety two. <laughs> Yeah, so you're disappointed because you have to travel so far to actually get to meet no. these <laughs> they've, people. They've exported all these old people out of the city. <laughs> Put them in a village. No, no, no. But but what I've realized is a different lifestyle. And we are talking about a lifestyle that helps longevity. <laughs> okay. That helps you to be healthier. That helps you to live longer. Which most of the city lifestyles uh would not would be actually quite harmful. You know, how, so unless we change our lifestyle. How different is this lifestyle? Um okay, so the, the concept of, of the, the Okinawans is you know the a few different things. So let me see. Um they call it the Mo hmm? Moai Moai, so social support. So having that that whole uh, community to rely on, to discuss things, to make decisions with. So it's a very village, you know, very uh, 
uh, yeah, very village sort of lifestyle, kampong lifestyle. So in the past, where we have the kampongs, you know, people come together. So it's a very similar sort of uh, uh, mindset where people mm. come together to make decisions. Yeah. So that's so, one. So social support. So just to clarify, Jerry, you, you said early on that yeah. you are a little disappointed, you know, with, uh, with yes. some of your observations regarding Okinawa. Yes. Yes. So the reason why you're disappointed is because you... Yeah, oh, okay. Because yeah. majority of the spaces, they mm -hmm. are no longer having this sort of lifestyle. It's really just consolidated in some spaces only. So mm -hmm. where um, they did the research, is really in one particular village or two particular village. It's not the entire space. Mm, yeah, ah. so if you look at the uh, you know the the rest of the the areas it might not be what we are looking for if we are looking for that particular lifestyle yeah ah. so i think in mm. in that sense singapore is more of a blue zone than okinawa I think because so. as you were mentioning right in okinawa mm. is a certain area mm. you know of yes. uh, of yes. the city mm. But Singapore mm. as a city is now considered mm. a, blue a blue zone. zone. Yeah, because our, our mm. mortality rate is so high. Correct. Uh, it's, so, it's so low. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. So, yeah, if we continue our lifestyle, if we change our lifestyle and we are able to adopt some of their mindsets, yes, I think we can do very well. I mean, more uh, social support. So this is one of the, the things that um, in mental health, right, or mental well-being, we encourage, you know, to have your social resources. And we spoke at length about it mm. um, <clears throat> on the Therapy Tuesdays also. So social support is really, really important. Mm. Um, the other one that they uh, that is very very popular around the world is something called ikigaya, uh, ikigai, ikigai, mm, yeah. ikigai. So that's having a purpose for your life. Oh, right. So, yeah. So waking up every day having a purpose. So sometimes when I'm in sessions, it's really really sad to hear the younger generation say, "I wake up and I don't know what to do." So for them, for these um, Okinawans, they wake up every day and it really doesn't matter. It's waking up and um, looking forward to do an exercise, looking forward to do uh, the simplest of things. It's simply just having a purpose. I know that there is a book out there, you know, and it writes about you know, doing something for the community, doing something for the self, doing something for others. Uh, it can be, but it doesn't have to be anything big at all. So it can simply be waking up for Glenn, waking up and feeding biscuit. Mm. <laughs> Making oh, no. sure biscuit has his food. Right. No. I wake up and my purpose is to make him pee and poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that then, is a purpose. <laughs> yes, but it's right there on the pee pad. So I'll just carry him. I'll put him on the pee pad. I go like, pee pee poo poo. <laughs> <laughs> and then he will pee pee first, and then he will poo poo, and then I'll use a wet wipe and wipe his ass. And well, then, then that's I'll, your purpose I'll, in yeah. the morning. And then of course I will yeah. then open the bedroom door again, and then he'll very slowly walk into the room and jump into bed again. I'm like, wow, what a life, right? Good life this dog's yes, got. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and then when I get home later, then I'll feed him. You know. Yeah. But yeah, waking up in the morning, that's the first thing I do. Okay. For him. Sure. Yes. Great. So I wonder if the listeners out there, you know, they, whether you have a purpose when you wake up in the morning or you open your eyes and go, what am I supposed to do this morning? Pee -pee because poo -poo. that's the... Uh, <laughs> 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 hey, you laugh. Some people want to pee pee poo poo so they can't, they you can't know. In the and morning. then they're disappointed with themselves. <laughs> I'm like, why can't I? Okay, maybe PP can, but why can't I poo poo? I'm telling you, when you reach 67, that happens more than you wanted to. <laughs> oatmeal, I say. Oatmeal. Okay. No, I don't like oatmeal. Oh, oatmeal is oh. the best thing. Oh, it's awesome. Oh, no. It's just fiber, right? I mean, yeah, okay. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, um, 
Okay, so there is the doing what you're good at, uh, doing what you love, doing what the world needs, and doing what you can be paid for. So those are okay. some of the areas uh, that uh, you can look at to kind of help you mm. uh, for ikigai. Mm. Yeah, so I've heard the term ikigai. You no, know, actually, now come and think of it. Yeah. Someone once yes, asked yes. Uh, a friend of mine, "What is your ikigai?" And then, of course, everybody <laughs> hearing ikigai for the first time, "What is this ikigai?" And then he explained, yeah. "Oh, it's you know purpose. You know what's your." Yeah. And then I mm. said, "Why can't you just say what's your purpose in life instead of like mm. ikigai and well, everyone you, has to ask you it, what in the world is ikigai?" It's true because some girls will associate ikigai with an ex-boyfriend they really don't like. <laughs> He's just an icky guy. <laughs> get it, get it, oh get it. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm thinking of a few guys. I'm going like, you know, they're all icky guys. <laughs> okay. Oh dear, we are talking about purpose here. Purpose, okay, purpose. having a purpose, and yeah. you know, working towards that purpose, and it is a whole, um, a whole variety of things, a whole assortment of things that you can mm. do and that you can work towards. Right? Mm, mm. Okay. So the next one is how they eat. I, I was hoping Angel would be here today because she she would really love this. So they eat a lot of vegetables. Okay. Uh, so it's not quite plant based, but um, they are very heavy in their vegetable uh, dishes mm. and very light in their meat dishes. Which is now, good. I mean, it's a nice balance. Uh, uh, Jerry, let's go on air and talk about this part here, the diet, yes. okay? Okay. Um, yeah, okay. because we have to go for a traffic update right now. Okay, stand okay. by. Yeah. Good morning, Singapore. Welcome back to The Big Show and The Big Show TV coming to us live. Ohayo gozaimasu <laughs> from Japan. Ohayo Okinawa, the sweet, the beautiful, Dr. Geraldine Tan. Good morning, Jerry. <laughs> Good morning, Ohio. Ohio. How come when you say Ohio, it sounds so much better it, than it's, it's how Ohio. she? I think it's how she Ohio. pronounces it. It sounds really good. Ohio. <laughs> I love that. Anyways. Okay. Anyway, yeah, Jerry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that that icky guy is in my head. Oh, you don't get me of it. Okay, everyone. Let's let's uh let's uh, bring up a few names of guys icky we find guys. icky. <laughs> Supposed to be purpose. Anyway, <laughs> yes, let's it's move purpose. On. It's purpose. But you were also talking to us, or about to start talking to us, about uh, diet. The diet that mm. uh, yes. the older people in Okinawa have. Yes, yes. So the Okinawans actually eat a lot of like uh, vegetables, and one of the very popular vegetables is their bitter melon or kukwa, or in their in their words is goya. Uh, it's it's bitter god basically, oh, but yeah. their bitter god is really really nice, uh, and they eat a lot of that and a lot of tofu also. So there's mm. a lot of tofu in their food. Yeah. Can can I say something, uh, Jerry? I used to sure. go to this Japanese restaurant here in Singapore. Um, they've got Okinawan dishes, and my favorite yes. Okinawan dish, and I've mentioned this to FD before, mm. bitter god, tofu, yes, egg, yes. Yes. And luncheon meat. Wow. Oh, okay. it's an Okinawan dish. Okay. It's so yeah, nice and tasty. Yeah, I you yes. me about that. It's yummy. Yes. Yes. I mean, I don't know where the luncheon Goya meat came cha. from, but uh, American yeah. troops probably. Yes. <laughs> no, because yes. they were stationed in Okinawa for a long time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it probably yes, yes, did come yes. from the so, troops. Yeah. Exactly. So they eat quite a lot of spam in there, and mm. they put a, quite a lot of spam in their dishes here, uh, which is an American influence. So there's a lot of American influence, which is the other sad thing because because of this influence, um, the, the diet has gone haywire. So mm. although the older Okinawans eat a lot of vegetables, a lot of tofu, the sneaky thing about you know the 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 food is that the spam slides in, the steak slides in, big chunks of mm. meat slides in. Mm. Yeah, so 
<laughs> yeah, so the the it's no longer uh uh so plant based anymore. Yeah. Okay, Jerry. Mm. I just want to ask these vi- this village. It's like an hour and a half, right? You you were saying uh, from Okinawa. Yeah. yeah, yeah Is it yeah. one of those yeah. traditional old fashioned Japanese villages? You can. So it is uh, older. It is a bit quieter because people have moved out from the the villages already. Mm. Um, they still do have the older sort of Okinawan traditional houses, but oh. uh, yeah, but I, I I don't think that it is um yeah it is very popular at this yeah. point yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. But like you were saying, yeah. I mean, it's an hour and a half away. You you haven't you haven't visited the the village, right? I have. So they they have a lot of trekking. Uh, so y- when you go there in summer, it's very lovely because you can trek. There's a lot mm. of like you can do. Uh, you can go down to the beach. You can go for trekking. Yeah. So these are uh, being in touch with nature is okay. another thing that they are. Um, that they advocate for, which in the city we do not have so much of. Right. Mm. Right. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. So being in that part, they they do a lot of uh, like gardening also. So they plant their own vegetables. So really back to nature. Okay. All right. Let's continue to talk to Jerry on the Big Show TV. It is eight eighteen. But have you? Uh, did you? bump into a few centenarians at least i mean while you were there <laughs> no not at all they're not walking around for me to bump into <laughs> no not not here i mean like when you went to the village no 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 i didn't so i didn't go in i think um they do if you want there are some like tours and things like that but i mm. thought you know it was quite sad because really they are not products you know so it, or, or yeah products on display so i didn't want mm. to do that yeah. right. it, mm. it's, it's interesting mm. that you say that because i went on a tour once and one of the highlights of the tour was meeting a centenarian not that the mm. centenarian was a product because we actually sat down with her. Mm. Uh, only groups of five mm. were allowed in at any one time. Right. And you had 20 minutes. Right. And she explained her life. Lovely. And how she had mm. reached that age and what she had done. Must have taken a year, actually. Mm. Or rather, a, a, a whole day but, to no, explain she, her she, life. She, she had 20 minutes. So, so basically, it was the food she ate and, and, and oh. how she kept active. But but it was very right, interesting right. actually. So you know, yes. it depends on how it's handled. I think. Yes. Yes. Lot to yes, be learned from them. A lot, a lot yeah. to be learned from them. And another thing to learn is that when they eat, they eat till eighty percent full. So hara hachipu is something that they live by to eat until they are eighty percent full. So it's not like to eat until you want to vomit mm, or you mm, know to eat mm. until you're distended. Yeah. Mm, and I think that's that's a practice uh, many people observe these days. You know the whole eighty percent full rule. I've I've yes. been hearing this for a number oh, of years yeah, yeah. already. Right. Yeah. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, so that's something that they continue. But I suppose if we see how the younger people eat today, they they eat until they are really, really full. Or they drink until they're really, really, you know, it's over the top. Yeah. But you know, Jerry, they can afford so, to do it. That's why. Mm. Like when we were younger, so we could just eat until we were like 95% full <laughs> or 100% full. More than that. These days we do it for health purposes and at the same time we want to yes. try and, you know, keep yes. in shape as well. Yes, yeah, so maybe it's an age thing, but I think the younger populations should also be encouraged to do that. Yeah, mm. it's, it just keeps the body healthier and then you don't have to suffer the consequences at later stages of your life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So yes, and gardening. So the other thing we were talking about, you know, being in touch with nature. So a lot of people don't realize that uh, being in touch with nature, what is so important about it is not only to be active, but also the sun. So I think remember during COVID period, we were all stuck at home and we're getting a lot of like moodiness, we're getting irritable. 
Um, so the sun is very important for, uh, for our moods also to lift our moods. Medically, it is also important. Vitamin D is important to help our bones, you know. So if you have like brittle bones, it's probably because one of the reasons, one of the reasons could be you don't have enough um, sunlight. Mm -hmm. So go out into the sun at least 20, 30 minutes a day. That would definitely help. Because during COVID period, so many people were getting a lot of like uh, telling me they were lethargic and everything. And they did their blood test. And one of the things that was uh, deficient was actually vitamin D. Right. So if you want your bones to last longer, you want to live longer, go sun yourself like a little baby. Basically, <laughs> so many people are afraid of the UV rays and so, you know, yeah. they they try and avoid yeah. going under the well, sun. Yeah. Sunscreen. Sunscreen. But yeah, but yeah. sometimes it's still not yeah, enough, it's not right? Enough. That's you know? true, depending on how much you get. Yeah. I know many people yeah. just don't yeah. want to go under the sun anymore because they want to... Uh, uh, an even skin tone. Yeah, they like that. that so whole many considerations. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. So many considerations. Yeah, yeah. very true. Yeah, very true. I say yeah. just play golf so morning, once a week. <laughs> no, but it's great morning, because you do morning. get the sun. Yes. And for what? Five hours, six and hours, and a very like uneven that? skin tone. As well. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine Jerry with an uneven skin tone? Yeah. Um, okay. There yeah. is. The UV rays, I mean, the, the, the sunblock for the UV rays, you know, get those with the triple plus. Mm. It should mm. be okay. Yeah. Only yeah. me and Jerry's husband can hang out. <laughs> Ayo, yes, Whip. you can have that. You, you know, you all have the, the 10 for the watches. <laughs> yeah. 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 He has it too, right? Yeah. We got to use our watches yes. when we play golf. You know, if not, we won't know the distance. <laughs> We're spoiled already like that. <laughs> it's like, ah, how much further to the pin? Let me check right now. Oh, 50 meters. Oh, yes. That's my kill zone. Okay. Anyway. So. Uh, Morning, anyways. Julia. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> He's gone for breakfast, I think. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, mm. And we have the other one, which is doing everything very mindfully. So uh, when you, you do things, I realize, I, I realize that they put a lot of thought and effort into everything that they do. So if we look at their arts, right? So they have different sort of arts here. They have that lacquer painting. I cannot even try and pronounce the name. There is um, the fabric weaving and um, the, the, the tie, not tie dye. It's actually some, some dyeing process that they do. Uh, and pottery here. So they have a lot of pottery here also. And they take time to actually uh, uh, deliberate, to actually think about it, to actually do it step by step. And they're not in a hurry. So I was quite impressed. So even when they uh, teach it to you or when they uh, help you with it, they, their, their attitude, you can actually see the attitude. They're not in a hurry. They're very encouraging. Um, I actually tried my hand at something called Shuri sh Shuri Dori or okay. Shuri Ori. That's nice, Jerry. Hold on, okay. We are, we are going to go yes. on air, and you can actually tell us about that as well. All right. Okay. Welcome back to the Big Show and the Big Show TV. Our guest for this morning is a award-winning psychologist from the therapy room. So committed, so dedicated. <laughs> you know, she's on. She's on holiday right now with the family, but she's still coming to us live from mm. Okinawa in Japan. Ohayo gozaimasu, Dr. Geraldine Tan. Jerry, you were talking about Shuri Ori. Is that that textile thing? Yes. Ah. Yes. Shuri Ori is actually a textile um, that they have here. And... It's half a uh, t-shirt. No, it's, no, it's half a... Oh, yeah, okay. it's a pamphlet. So I tried my hand with it and it's a weaving process. It's quite interesting. And um, I did two coasters. This was the first one I did and you can so see nice. that it's not very well done. Uh, and this was the second one I did, which is slightly better. Wow, look um, at that. 
Yeah. So they are I like the first one. <laughs> I like them both. The red honestly. one. Yeah, the color. So this is a very Okinawan color. The red is an Okinawan color, and then this one was um, something uh, my sensei picked out because she said it was very pretty. So I agree with her. Very what does she subtle. know? I. The first one is nicer <laughs> because it's a little rough around the edges. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Glenn likes it? things that are rough around the edges. <sighs> yeah, but even with this. You know, the weaving process, you use your feet to weave. So if anybody recalled how the sewing machine was used in the past, the your, old your sewing machine. would be... Yes. Mm. This one has four different panels that I have to step on and and I have to keep changing with each tug. It's Are you sure it's a sewing machine a, or, and not an organ? Or? Weaving machine. <clears throat> weaving machine, okay. No, it's a weaving machine and it's quite interesting. Let me see if I can pull it up. Uh, Did I say sewing machine? Yeah, you said sewing machine. This is weaving. Bro. Same, same, but different. Yeah, same, same, but different, yes. So, you see, it's a... Wow. Yeah, it's a weaving machine. Mm. So, out of curiosity, Jerry, how long did it take you to make yes. those things? One hour. <laughs> wow. They do take their time. <laughs> yes. It took me... Oh, no. Just because I'm I'm also not very good in it. But it's just how her attitude is. So, she would be... Okay, now you do this and do this. Okay, very good. L let's continue. So, the attitude is very gentle, very kind. And it's... Take your time, do it mindfully. It, there is no hurry, there is no rush. So, and you see them doing it, and they do it in the same way also. Of course, because they are more proficient in it, they do each step faster. Mm. But it's how their the attitude is towards that material with so much care, so much presence that is very, very respectable. I really love it. Mm. Wow. Sounds mm. nice. Sounds therapeutic. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. It okay, is. now is a good place to go to. <laughs> oh, but you do have to to partake in the different arts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah of course, of he would do it. FD would. Yeah, do it. I would do that for sure. Thing. Yeah, for sure. I wouldn't it, do it probably, but he he would. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, Jerry. Let's uh, continue. Let's continue this conversation on the Big Show TV. Okay. Meantime, here's Tate McRae. Oh. Run for the hills on Kiss ninety two. He'll be doing everything and I will be at the pub. Yeah, Jerry, something has dawned <laughs> on me. When, when we're talking yes. about the lifestyle of these elderly people yes. in this village, mm. an hour and a half outside Okinawa, and we've got people yes. listening to us and going, how do I translate that into my life in busy Singapore? Mm, okay, so let's... I will go to my summary that I have for today. So yeah. it's no different from what we've been talking about on Therapy Tuesdays in various different ways. Um, and I remember that I always speak about the five pillars. Mm. Okay, so we have the physical, intellectual, social, spiritual, and emotional. So the five pillars, right? So the social is something that we have always emphasized upon having a, uh, your social resources, who is there for you, mm. your social concentric circle. And then you have your uh, intellectual. So what do you learn? What do you do? Is there something that you want to do it says that excites you mm. um i think one thing that i realize is they do a lot of things with passion and they really enjoy it mm. so you know i always say have fun with it uh, so have fun with whatever that you do um so yes, so one thing that, you know, why I, 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 I actually, if you can see my whole entire setup here, I still have my uh, mic with me. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy Therapy Tuesdays. So that's mm -hmm. why I, you know, put in the, the, the love into bringing the entire laptop. <laughs> no, and we love you no, for that, love you for Jerry. Jerry. Aww. Yes, yeah, so, so that is an enjoyment for, for me. So what is an enjoyment for yourself, right? Um, if we look at the spiritual aspect, it is not just a religious aspect. So uh, yes, you can pray well, but also 
uh, what do you like to do and do it mindfully. So that's mm. the other thing that you can help yourself with. Um, <clears throat> the physical aspect, there are two parts to it. So one would be staying active. Mm. We mentioned about them doing the gardening, uh, doing that, you know, whether it is water sports, um, just keeping yourself moving. And the other part would be eating well. And eating well has so many different parts to it, right? So there's not just the uh, eating your vegetables, but also eating till you're 80% full, not overeating. Mm. So can I we I had five of Shine's tarts this one? morning, by the way. <laughs> you have At five 6 of whose tarts? Cheyenne. <laughs> Cheyenne baked tarts. Cheyenne is our oh, no. our princess of tarts. No. <laughs> you should try. You should try Cheyenne's tarts. Remember like, every Chinese New Year you, you get some tarts yes, from uh, yes, yes. uh your, your Because Beyond. Because yes. Beyond. Yes. Because you beyond. should try yes. Cheyenne's tarts. Okay. Cheyenne, next week I'm coming in, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Really? You are coming in next week? Next week? Really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, next week is um, Boxing Day. Ah, okay. Yeah, boxing Day. The, she's oh, on leave. Cheyenne's on leave. There are no. a few more in here. I will uh, use. I'll use <laughs> Scotch tape and make sure I tape it so it'll be super <laughs> duper okay. airtight, and then you can try. Hopefully, it's not gone no. by the time it'll you come. be gone by the time that. Happens. We'll save you at least one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, yes. but I see how you so related that to everyday life. Mm. Yes. Yes. So it's not rocket science, but yeah. it takes effort. It takes effort to change our lifestyle. Mm. It yeah. does. Mm. It absolutely yeah. does. Uh, effort, mm. discipline mm. as well. I mean, discipline, we can all admire correct. these blue zones from a distance. I mean, even here in Singapore, right? Yes. I mean, yes. the, the, the yes. fact that we are considered a, a, you mean a blue zone, blew many yeah. people's minds yes yes but if you think about it right all these years yes. of what you know you've yes. got to give credit where credit is due mm. the government has put yes. this in place and that in place reminding us through campaigns yep. you know through new uh, uh um uh, what do you call uh, uh you know health checks and introducing mm. you know all these things so that uh, we'll be healthier because when you have a healthy population you have a healthy economy as well true mm. you know what i mean yeah mm. Mm, and uh, and 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 we have, unlike your observation over there in, in Okinawa, you said you were a bit disappointed, you know, because the people in the city are not exactly living no. healthy lifestyles. You know what I mean? Yeah. We, on the other hand, we are disciplined, I think, and and we really Generally, do want to be yeah. healthier in in general. Generally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, absolutely. Mm, I think. There's more awareness, there's more education, there's there's more uh, understanding about what we need to do. I, I, I'm very, very glad to hear our Singaporean uh, youths, you know, talking about uh, their carbo, their vegetables, you know, to... Mm. Uh, and Glenn is eating another tart. <laughs> <laughs> That's your seventh tart, I must say. <laughs> it's low sugar, by the way. <laughs> yeah, there anyway. Is, <laughs> there is still sugar. But anyways, yes. But I have homework for all of us. Are oh, we homework. on the TV or are we on the radio? We are on the Big Show TV. Okay. Homework. Okay, what's yes, your homework, homework, Jerry? What's your homework? So, next week, you know, I can follow up with the homework. No, actually not next week. Yeah, yeah, actually next week. So, some homework for us, right? So I call it the three S and two C's. So the three, it's a very simple formula to follow. Uh, but I'm not sure whether we can follow through. That's the more difficult part. So the first would be start. So for next year, so this is for next year, yeah? Mm. I would like us to think about something that we want to start something that we thought of starting but never started okay? okay so that's the first s the second one is what do we want to stop 
So okay. a lot of times we say we we don't want to do this anymore. We want to stop this. We don't want to stop that. But we never do. So okay. So you know, is there something that we want to stop, and how can we stop it? Hmm. Okay. Third S is something we would want to suspend. That means put a pause on. So all these, right? Isn't that the, the same as stop? S is in- no. No. Suspend is temporary. No. I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we want to suspend it. We want to kind of pause it. This is so the three S's and two C's is actually for our New Year resolution. So I don't like mm. resolutions, but this formula, if anybody wants to use it, is very helpful. Okay. So anything that you want to put a pause on. Now the two C's. Something you would want to continue. The C stands for continue, so something to continue doing. Mm-hmm. And the last C is change something that you would like to do differently. Something okay, hold that on. you would like change. We gotta go on here. <laughs> hold, hold on, hold on. Anyway, we have Dr. Geraldine Tan from the therapy room with us. And uh, when we were on the Big Show TV, she was just uh, running through the three S's and two C's with us. Perhaps Can maybe you want to... You want to run that by everyone listening I, on the radio. Yeah, so they, so that they can do this and join us again next week and, and follow us through. Yes. Homework. Sure. Okay. Homework for everyone. And I would like to give a shout out to many of the Grab drivers that are listening to Kiss 92. I sit in there and I go like, oh my gosh, you're listening <laughs> to Kiss 92. Thank you very much. Um, three S's and two C's for our New Year resolutions. Let's think about it. So the three S's are what I want to start, what I would like to stop, what I would like to suspend. So put a pause on something I would like to continue doing. And the last C would be something I would like to change. So start, stop, suspend, continue and change. So five different parts to it and they are slightly they are all different so a lot of times people say it's the same but they are all Mm. different so i would like you to put some thought into it and then join us next week so that you can share what you would like to start stop suspend continue and change right i feel like a teacher (laughs) no it's great it's great it's great our (laughs) teacher you know, if you can't remember, I mean, you're you're listening to us in the car right now, and uh, you know, you, you you missed out on on you know one of the five or or whatever. You know, just watch it once again. The, uh, you can watch us on Facebook yeah. and 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 YouTube as well, and please share uh, this this video as well. Okay, I think it's a good exercise. It for is. All of us I think do. it's a great exercise. Fabulous. Yeah. I'm definitely going to do this. <laughs> it's going to be really good. Okay, Jerry. Anything <laughs> else? Any last words? So. We had the summary also of today. So we have like social support, eat well, sleep well, play well. So those are the summary for today that I've picked up from my little, you know, experience here. Uh, I still have a couple more days here in Okinawa. I'm going to try the lacquer painting. It it sounds really exciting. (laughs) Yeah. Mm. And just... Because I'm in Japan, I'm going to try and see if I can read it properly, okay? Because this is a phrase that I'll end with for today uh, in Japanese. Okay, it's very, very difficult. Kurushi toki demo tonikaku warate iro. Oh, I hope I pronounced it correctly. So, what it means Sounded is perfect to me. even. I don't know what I'm saying actually. <laughs> <laughs> but it means even in hard times, keep laughing. Oh, so for I those like that. that, you know. Yeah, so I really like this one. They have very, very nice phrases and uh, very nice quotes, but I like this one. So even in hard times, keep laughing. I love that. Nice one, Jerry. I love that. Many people need to hear that. Thank you so much, Jerry. Mm. No Enjoy worries. the rest of and your I'll holiday. See everyone, I will. I'll see everyone on Boxing Day. Yay! <laughs> Except Cheyenne and myself, <laughs> we won't be here. Oh. Yeah, but the, your tart will be here. Don't worry. 
<laughs> yeah, a couple of tarts. We'll be here. Okay. I'm not talking about people. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Guys. <laughs> Icky guys, Jerry. Remember that for the rest of the day. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll see everyone on uh, Boxing Day. All right. Take care, Jerry. Bye-bye. Love to the family. Bye-bye.